Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay and Mercari Tuesday. <laughs> Right. Just Wait, but you're going to see this on a Wednesday. You're going to see it on a Wednesday. We're yes. coming ahead. What are we doing? I don't know. We're trying ah. it. <laughs> well, it happened because yesterday's video was two hours. Yes. So maybe we should just stop saying the day. You don't care. You just want to know what's sold. You don't care. You just want to know what's sold, right? Yeah. It was Whether funny. it was today or the day before, it's within a day's... Well, it's Wacky Tuesday here, and time. you're going to see this on... Wonderful Wacky Wednesday. Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday. All right. All right. Uh, we sold one thing on Mercari and how many on eBay? 11. 11. Cool. Yeah. Some interesting sales here. A couple bolos for you. Okay. And we're just trying to keep up our $300 a day profit so that we can pay our bills. That's right. Okay. First thing on Mercari are these Wolverine boots. Yes. They're really cool. I thought they would have, you know, gone faster, but... They didn't. Right. I thought and, the same thing. And for more money. And so. for more money. But fine. Mercari's great for selling shoes because, well, Dan has to take it to the Walgreens. No, I don't. <gasps> Three pound priority mail. How? I don't know. How? I don't How know. did this happen? I don't know, but it did. Yes. Wait, these weren't free shipping, right? No, they were not. <laughs> okay, normally I do anything three pounds. I do it... Oh, you know what I did? What'd you do? I probably did these USPS because over three pounds, because I figured they were over three pounds because these are Wolverine. They're like, are they steel toe? They're something. They're not, no. They're, They're just, heavy. Yeah. And so I probably figured I'll just do priority. <clears throat> it was probably like, they probably paid 20 bucks. Mm. Yeah. All right, cool. Whatever. These are cool. These are. We've got a lot of interest on them. Just yeah. nobody pulled the trigger. Uh, these over $38. Wolverine 1883. You know what's great? The fees on Mercari. That's fantastic. I know, right? So we actually did, I mean, if this had sold on eBay, we would have paid like a promotion. We would have paid 13% fees. Yeah, yeah. On Mercari, we paid $3.80 and $1.60 total of the fees. That's Perfect. really good. That is really good. A little over four bucks. That's good. That's like more like 10%. Hey, yo. All right. I hear you, Christy. I hear you. I know. <laughs> I keep trying to ditch Mercari, but it won't let me. No. Every time I want to ditch it, it comes back full force. That, that is the truth, man. All right. Um, so I thought you said it was the same person. Mm -hmm. We're sending. Mm -hmm. They didn't follow through hey, um, on the sale of the uh, the second piece. We had a person buy two things, but they only paid for one. Only of paid for one. Two things. And I even sent a message. I was like, hey, if you get your payment in on this other one, I can combine your shipping. I'm going to see if they've paid. I'm just going to get do a I little check a rooney. Checked, and they didn't. I'm just going to do a little check a rooney. I. I'm really, I was looking at those N-A-O-T. Hey, you guys are going to see some footage at the end of this video. Yes. Of our shoe haul. We got all 100 pairs of shoes for free. I mean, for Quote, free. Unquote, free. In our haul. And we brought them in today. People on the live convinced us to bring them in the house from the van. We did. Yep. We inventoried them. Y'all, my phone is blowing up with Taylor Swift updates. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even look at eBay right now because of all the Taylor Swift updates. All right. I'm a Swifty. What can you say? I do, I do not care. Yeah, only one thing. They've only paid for one thing. Guess we're sending it out twice. Okay, you do. The other thing we're probably never get paid for. Yeah, that's I have okay. a feeling. I have a feeling. <clears throat> All right. Okay, 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 okay. To get everything sorted in my brain we put together all these well we dan did he put together 100 boxes so we can put the shoes in the boxes and i promptly fell asleep <laughs> i was on the couch with my heating pad because i got a little backache on the couch and then i kept hearing the tape gun tape box tape tape out 
gone. <laughs> Good night. Good I was night. like, oh, this is like ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I get the ASMR now. Okay, I get it. So the other cool thing about the Mercari sale, go to Hawaii. Hawaii. <clears throat> I love Hawaii. Aloha, our Hawaii people. Check in below. All right. Mahalo. Okay. Uh, the next thing is something very old in our inventory, and uh, Super old. I sold it for six dollars. I don't six have bucks. anything else to say about that. Nope. I had lowered the price down to eight dollars, and we find and the person started at three. I got him up to six. <laughs> so you know, this was something that we shouldn't have. I don't know if we bought it. Yes, we sure did. Buy it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we bought these. These are leggings. <laughs> well, I don't know if we bought them. There's a price on them. No. Okay. Oh. We used to do our tickets like this, little baby tags like crazy people i know right to write all the info in the measurements what, what were we doing anyway these are adidas crop leggings y'all i do i just don't know i don't have anything to say about these no nope, absolutely nothing <laughs> six dollars six bucks what plus was shipping the, what was the inventory number um, 752 or something oh you took the bag did you take it or did i drop it well oh it was a tie bag. Yo, we have a crazy day here <laughs> at the Hustle HQ, I'm telling you. Not a bad day. Just like a crazy, it's a little off. Well, I woke up this morning, Dan plays a song to wake me up every morning on our Sonos, and it was my favorite Dave Matthews song that I've never heard on the radio, on Dave Matthews Radio. We listen to it in our house. And I just had commented that I've never heard it in all the time we've been listening. Yeah. Woke up this morning, that song was on. I was <clears> like, today's going to be a wacky day. <laughs> you know, one of those days. So I think that's cool. These, uh, so six bucks and four ninety nine shipping. We still should turn a profit on them, but it was just not the best pickup. Six ounces. All right, that was from four years ago. I just want to be clear. Yes. All right. Next, this was from this week. We listed, mm -hmm. or last week, you know, recently within the last seven days. Thank you very much. Chico's women's size one U.S. eight top <laughs> non iron white short sleeve. Button front blouse. Y'all, we are it? selling. What is it? It's Chico's and it's white. It's white. Come We're on. selling white dress shirts. This one's short sleeve. It sold for 15 bucks, but we had it in our house. And Word is getting out. I am here <laughs> to tell you that white basic dress shirts can sell. I, I'm not telling you to go spend money on Chico's. I'm telling you that if you have it or if the bins or a fill a bag or a blah, 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 blah. I was under the impression for much of my reselling career that white basics were not worth picking up. I was incorrect. Well, I mean, it may just, it may have to do with the trend right now. It might have More to do with the trend. Else. You are correct. Eight ounces. So that sold for $15 plus $4.99 shipping. Sweet. Next is a pair, another pair of shoes. So maybe Fine. this is our sign. It is. That we need to list all these shoes. We're trying to figure out a game plan for listing them because we don't want them all over our house forever. Also, where are we going to? Where would we? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to price them to sell. And okay. we can, like, we store our shoes. Can you see? Oh, no, you can't. We store our shoes right out of the frame here. But I think we have enough room to condense a lot. Yeah. And these shoes are little shoes, so they're all in Reach B boxes. So they'll, a. I mean, regional A boxes. They're a size seven and a half, most of them. If that, if you wear that size, keep an eye on the old eBay store. Yep. All right, where are these? These are going? going to Mississippi. Okay, cool. So Alan have... Edmonds, men, size 10, all the sizes. Mm -hmm. Keen brown suede casual loafers. You're nice. Alan Edmonds is a really nice um, U.S. high-end pair of men's dress shoes. We pick them up every time. Every single time. And they usually have the name of the shoe embossed on the insole. There you go. <clears throat> Uh, these sold for $36, which oh. is low as well, <laughs> but we've had them a while, and I thought that they would go for more. How much money did we spend on said Allen Edmonds loafers? Uh, $9.40. I don't think we would buy these at that price again. Absolutely not. We actually stopped... Take what I say with a grain of salt, but we kind of stopped selling shoes. Because the thrift that we go to the most doesn't really have good prices on shoes. We stopped going to Goodwill, which has flat pricing shoes, and we were getting good stuff at Goodwill. But we stopped going to Goodwill just in general. And um, the bins, our shoes are terrible out of our bins. So we don't really have a good sourcing strategy for shoes at this moment, other than the estate sale we just bought out. Yeah, they're very few and far between. Good ones, anyway. 
and we realize that we do have some shoes like up here that I mean, yeah. there's some driving loafers right there that are probably Allen Edmonds or Todd's or something. We don't like they to are. clean. These right here? Yeah. These are Allen Edmonds for sure. We just don't like to clean shoes, yep. so they sit up there. <laughs> we really need to though, because I know there's many profits to be had in the shoe world. I yeah. know, I know. Okay. Oh my god, I use this hair oil, y'all. I'm telling you, it smells so good. Uh, I'm obsessed with my hair right now. Oh. It's called Living Proof. I don't know if you guys know about this, but I just got it. Oh my god! Smell my hair one more time. Isn't it amazing? Oh, it's so good. My hair doesn't look great, but it smells great. It's amazing. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, sorry. Hey, shoebox dimensions. Stupid fractions. I hate that. <laughs> Three eighths. What is that? Point three. Just go to half. Seven point five. Five point three. Fifteen. Two pounds eleven. Oh, good. It's good to keep it between two. You know, under three pounds. Because once you get up to the next poundage, more money. Yes. Next is a duplicate of a pair of pants we sold yesterday. Oh right. These are Eileen Fisher women's size large washable cre crepe stretch ankle pant navy blue pull on. We literally sold these yesterday. Yep. Uh, these these went for forty four dollars. Nice. I believe yesterday it was the same. Very nice. That's what they're worth. Uh, those were listed uh, last week. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Paso. Nothing. I'm just saying these. Nothing. Oh. These can go in a small pile there. Okay. Without any issue. Uh, and the stretch crepe ankle pants. Remember we talked about it yesterday, where you can feel it in the rack. You can. They have a tooth. They have a grit. They feel a little rough, but stretchy and nice. And um, just go through the women's pants real quickly and see if you can feel any toothy, stretchy niceness. Toothy, <laughs> stretchy niceness. Because oh, normally the thrifts don't mark them up either. Ours don't. We find them at thrift all the time. <clears throat> all right. 12 ounces. Next is Lauren Ralph Lauren size 10 floral crop pants, cotton stretch, multicolor flat. And let me tell you, when I tell you the pictures on these were horrible, I love April. I love her. <laughs> but the pictures of these... Dang. Dang. <laughs> the, let's take them out and see if it actually has some discoloration at the bottom. The bottom of the legs look like almost black, almost like it had been dipped in some kind of dye. I'm sure it was just lighting and shadows. It was just lighting, right? Yeah, yeah. But as soon as I saw the picture, I was like, I'm taking whatever offer this is. <laughs> okay, they're fine. Yeah. The bottom part of the... I'm going to show you the picture. Okay, hold on. Where's my phone? I got to show you this. Y'all have to see this. It was not her fault. She's learning, right? And I give her feedback all the time. And she probably just didn't notice. Most of her pictures are phenomenal. But this one, whoa. So the person offered, what did they offer? 15 bucks. And I was like, girl, bye. <laughs> Sold. I do not want to retake pictures of these pants. They're Vince pants, though. Whatever. Yeah, totally Vince pants. Yeah. They're cool pants. I like them. face do you see how dark the legs look oh my gosh i was like what is going on with these pants i thought they were totally damaged they are fine and they're cool they have this nice like really bold graphic floral print i think that's that's a good thing um and lauren ralph lauren isn't something we normally pick up either i don't know why we picked these up did we pick these up where did these come from these may have come from april's bins question mark I'm oh really, for I sure i really don't know yeah, I don't think we would have picked this up. I don't think so either. We don't usually pick up. Okay, what, okay, well, 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 well. I just skipped the scale. Skipped it. Ten. Ten! <laughs> All right, the next is this little guy. I have died. <laughs> he is so dang cute. He's a pirate, and you can, like, dress him up and stuff. He's got little buttons and Velcros and laces. It's called, um... Dress Up Pirate, Learn to Dress, Plush, 15-inch, Manhattan Toy Company, Learning Toy, 2006, $14.95. He's so cute. He's got, like, little Velcro. You can't say Velcro on eBay. He's got buttons. I don't Hook know. and loop. Hook and loop. <laughs> there you go. He's all soft. All, oh, he's got that button. Yeah, he'll fit it. <laughs> <laughs> Shove him in. <laughs> 
healthy sales. I'm very, very pleased. I don't know if we'll meet our goal today, but very pleased for a, a Tuesday. The next is our favorite brand. You guys, we keep talking about this brand, and I'm just very hopeful that you guys will be able to find it and list it. And Fontaine. And Fontaine, Alina, no, Alna Top, size 44, US 12, black rib, stretch long sleeve, white piping top. This uh, sold for 40 bucks. Nice. It's right where. really cool top. Yeah, it's super stretchy. This has got, a, I think I put in the um, thing, uh, in the theme of eBay. That's where you kind of put your hashtags or whatever. I think I put 90s. It really is a 90s shirt. It's very, very stretchy. It's not slinky, but it's stretchy. There's the Anne Fontaine printed tag, which was something we hadn't seen before. Um, we know it's a newer Anne Fontaine, newer, because they're using the European sizing. This is the piping I was talking about. Super stretchy. I mean, this is like the stretchiest shirt. This is the ribbed fabric I was talking about. It's ribbed. Um, really cool. Love this. Anyway, this sold, did I tell you? 40, yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, this little pirate guy. 11 ounces. Nice. Just because plush is big, I used to think it was always over a pound and I wouldn't pick it up. It, it never weighs over a pound. Hardly ever. Even that one was pretty big and it had like lots of stuff on it. It's still only 11 ounces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying. Okay, next we have Eileen Fisher size medium brown washable flex tensile ponty knit stretch slim pants okay girl i never even wrote the word pants in here <laughs> i really did not you didn't i said it but it is not on here uh -oh. so i need to be a little bit more careful these sold for 41 dollars they are not over a pound sometimes ponty can be over a pound uh we spent 6.59 on these pants they are Tag looks like this. I'm just trying to show you all the different Eileen Fisher tags there are, just so you can be aware. Some of them are black. Some of them are off to the side. Some of them are white. Seven ounces for the Anne Fontaine. Okay, a Ponte is a, a four-way stretch. It's really thick and stretchy. Think leggings, but thicker. Thank you. Wait, what'd you say? Sorry. Seven. Seven. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Oh, did you pull the Lego thing? Yeah. Okay. I don't have it over here. Yeah, I left it over here. So the next thing is a super bolo, especially if you're a bin shopper. So bins bolo. It's a bins bolo. <laughs> bins bolo. All right. They have Lego sets at our bins all the time, but you never get them because they're like half missing, Lego strewn everywhere, right? Right? Here, well, come, here comes the bolo part. Let me see that thing. Bolo part? Let me see that thing. What thing? This thing? Oh, I thought this was the thing. No, this is the whole thing. Never mind. This isn't the bolo part. Yeah. We sell the manuals from Lego. We sell the, the oh, books. Just the books. Yeah. The books. So you can get them. If you find the kit, say you found this at the bins and it was all strewn out everywhere, but the, the manual was in it, take it. Yeah. Sell it. They don't sell for a lot, but... No, but it's like, weighs nothing. Yeah. And it's super easy to list. You just take the front, the back, mm. All right, this girl, I don't think, I this don't is, even know. This was RA, which is... This is so bad. We're, we're not going to make any money on this at all. Okay. What, how much <laughs> did you pay for it? The ticket says $12. No! Okay, yeah. I, what do you mean me? Why I would me? not have bought that. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. We're really bad at retail arbitrage. We don't do it. We haven't done it in like two years. Yeah. Some people are great at it. We are not those people. Find another channel if that's your bag, because we are not helpful. Not helpful. <laughs> this is a Lego set. Um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Story Pack 2016. I have no idea where this came from. Our ticket says 12 bucks. That's terrible. Uh, it sold for $19.95. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Okay. Fourteen ounces. 
Okay, the next thing was in our death pile for a long time, and I am not here to make a statement on anything I'm about to say. You take what I'm going to say with no judgment. Okay. This is Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. I think I undersold it as well. I think it's worth more. This baby powder has talc in it. It's uh -huh. not sold anymore. Yep. Uh, we find it at the thrift sometimes, and I pick it up, and we sell it, and I'm sorry, I, I can't help if people buy what I sell. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know if it's legal to sell. I don't know anything. Ingredients, it says talc and fragrance. Right. This There's like a cancer thing. I'm selling cancer. I can't help it. I don't know what to say. I really shouldn't sell this. Anyway, um... We did put movie prop and stuff in the title of the listing. We did. We put Absolutely. movie prop. Because they don't make this anymore. So I don't know. I don't... I don't know. This is new. It sold for $21. I think it could have gone for more, but I wanted it out of my house. <laughs> Should I leave it in there? How much does it weigh? How much shipping did they pay? They paid $8.99. Oh, okay. So, where's it it's going? It's going to Massachusetts. Yeah, I don't... I it, know it, it is not brand new. I'm sorry. It's used... What, it, what we said in the thing was Johnson's Baby Powder Original Talc Formula Vintage 1990s Prop Movie 15 ounces used. That's what we said. That's what we said. If you don't feel comfortable selling this kind of thing, don't sell it. I don't feel comfortable, and so I let it go for $21. I felt weird about it. Did you? A little bit. I definitely feel weird about having it in my house. Yeah. Because there is lawsuits for people that have gotten cancer from this i think i think i don't know i didn't look into it i don't want to know la, 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 la. okay can we just pack it up and move on with our lives please thank working you. on it thank you <laughs> all right the last thing that sold and i let this one go for a low price because i think that's what it's worth but we decided to list we had a bunch of these uh robert graham shirts for women if you didn't Aww. know robert graham makes women shirts i will show you the inside i was not aware either Robert Graham. This looks like a bandana. It's cool. And a lot of the shirts we listed do have the famous flip cuff. This one does not. This is more like a band sleeve. And uh, it sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. And it's going to Canada. Okay, Canada. And we're at the end of the roll. Yes. Okay. Yeah, one pound, four, five ounces. Okay. Nine by six by three. All right, and then Robert Graham going to Canada. Robert Graham going to Canada. All right, we roll of silent tape here real quick. We use silent tape and a silent tape gun for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> uh. Yo, I had two coffees here the other day. I have to tell you about this. <laughs> I had one in this Java sock and one in another Java sock. And I was drinking, I'm like, this one. I realized I was drinking the wrong coffee. I was drinking like, because it was during... It was on a Monday, and Good I hadn't been in here with... Coffee. No, I think it was like three days old. Weekend coffee. <laughs> when I noticed it, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because my coffee will stay cold all day, and this coffee was not cold. And I'm like, this is weird. Kept drinking it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So now I'm hyper vigilant about taking it into the kitchen at night and making sure that I do not leave it in here. Yeah. One time at art school, I went to grad school for art... And we have a painting class. Oh no. Oh no. This happened to Lindsay. And we had we were doing watercolor. Coffee and watercolor. Had the you know, two coffee cups. One person was dipping their brush and was cleaning it in the water that was in a coffee cup and drank it. Oh, oh. oh no, no, no. Ah, 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 I know. Five it's ounces. So gross. Like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Man. I'm sorry. I need the dimensions of that little Holly Miller. Just, just a little guy. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven.
That's a tough one. <laughs> Fighting with it. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at our YouTube comments. We posted our video earlier today. We did. It's not doing so well, but that's okay. <laughs> We're trying out some different things. It's two hours, so. Man, the shipping on that baby powder was not great. Why? 1162. Shouldn't we just put it in? You can put this box into a padded. Come on. Look, right here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it for you. Look at this. It's better fit after I said that. Why is the post office got to be shady like that? If it fits in a padded, it should not be. Right. Because now I'm just using material that I don't need to use. All right, so this is a little bit of a tight squeeze. A little bit of a tight squeeze here. <laughs> I feel like I'm putting on pantyhose. <laughs> oh yeah. You got it? I got it. Nice. Was there any question? Okay, so I'm gonna go to my shipping label screen. Okay, hold on, let me just seal it up so that people can hear what's happening. Yeah, I'll wait for these to stop printing all day. Look at that. Box in a dang bag. I use the seal on the bag, so it should be fine. Saving us money. <clears throat> okay. So what I, I want to, this is probably not going to allow me to use the scan form. It's not that many. Right. 4K. Because if you void a label and then create a new one, I don't know if that updates in the scan. I mean, uh, well, this isn't bad. These will all fit in the little junk junk. Yes. So what I need to do, I'm going to go into under, go to my seller hub and then under orders at the very bottom, click on shipping labels. And then I'm going to find the baby powder and then it says actions and there's a little drop down menu and I'm going to void this original label, select a reason, other send request oh, problem with label in store whatever doesn't really matter what quest what's reason you select okay so the void request is done and then i'm going to go back to actions and print another label i think if i haven't run the scan form yet i should be able to still i'm thinking about it um i'm trying to read you guys this youtube comment so this is in a flat rate padded envelope, right? Yep. Purchase shipping label. Right Gail said, right. so Gail's laughing out loud because I didn't even notice you were fighting with the chopper, the food thing base, and I was just talking. <laughs> 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 I had no idea. I was just, I was story timing. Yeah, I don't remember. It's, it's all right. All right. I'll figure out the scan form thing in a minute. All right. Are you ready? Yep. 762. 752? Seven, Seven, yeah. Should be 762. I just. Can you write that on there? That's going to have to throw me. Sure. I'm sorry. It's the <laughs> we we have seven thousand pens, and we fight over the one. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, seven five zero one. Four four five two. The shoes. Who thinks we're gonna make our goal today? Remember, it's profit. Profit, profit goal. All right, seven five nine zero, right there in the center. Six eight six three. Six 
pilot plush in the Macy's box. You might need a blank. No, okay. With plenty of blanks. Blank first. So I try to cover up any identifying, any barcodes, anything, anything, all the things. Cover it up. 7522 7127 the Lego damn Lego Added flat rate for the baby powder. This is the reprint? Yes. And last but not least, international, the rubber gram shirt. Crazy kids. All right. Oh, this is eBay International. This is not going to Illinois. Okay. Okay. We had this talk yesterday on the um, live. It looks like we've got an answer there. Okay. All right. We'll be back. Yes. We're going to go get to see the shoe haul. And then we'll be back at the end to show you how much profit we made. Woo! -hoo. So many shoes. Picnic, how do you feel about all these shoes? I know, right? Show me which, which, which ones are your favorites. Pick them out. The, mm, mm. Those? Okay. <laughs> So there is a hundred and four pairs of shoes and one cat. Um, they're all from brands. What are those? This Finn Comfort, Ann Klein, Donald J. Pliner, some Toms, Stuart Weitzman, uh, some Keens. What else is in here? Some Eileen Fishers. Dance Go. Dance Goes, Taryn Rose. That's the kind of stuff that's in here. A lot of comfort brands, sandals. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we'll do okay on these, right? Maybe. Olakai, right there. Olakai, yeah. Uh, Sanuk. Some Keens. Jack Rogers. Uh, I think most of them are '90s styles. Yeah. And that does trend with the younger kids. Well, we've definitely got some work to do the next couple of days. And they are quote unquote free. Yeah. Our video schedule is a little bit off now that we're filming a day ahead. So these guys have no idea what time it is. Picnic. You sleeping? Good girl. Jeremy's sleeping too. Where's he at? There he is. Look at this guy with his face. Everything good? All right. <laughs> All right, we'll go check in on these shoes and we'll see you guys later. Hi. Hey! It's much later. It's right after our live. Oh, action. you didn't have to tell anybody. No, right? I wanted to tell <laughs> It's so much later. Okay, they can probably see the time on my computer. It's 10 14. Anyway, it's fine. How we, we sold we... 12 items and we made $192 in profit. What? I thought we made more than that. Dang Did it. you? Yes. Well, okay, let me go through. 
we made on the Wolverine boots, twenty two sixty one. The cost of goods was very high. Yeah. Ten bucks. The Adidas leggings, we actually made five bucks on them. <laughs> I don't know how. Okay. I don't understand how that's possible, but. The Chico's pants, we made nine ten. Chico. I'm sorry. The Chico's poplin shirt, nine dollars and ten cents for a short sleeve dress shirt. I'm fine. Allen Edmonds, high cost, nine forty. Mm -hmm. Willing to make twenty bucks profit. I'm talking profit numbers. Eileen Fisher pants, we made twenty nine eighty five. That was because we had to pay a lot in promotions. The Ralph Lauren cropped pants, we made nine thirty six. Okay. The pirate plush, we made nine eighty six. So, yeah, we're picking up a trend here. A lot of ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah, the Anne Fontaine, we made thirty one oh one. There we go. Fantastic. That's where we want to be. The Eileen Fisher pants again. The other ones twenty seven seventy three. Excellent. The Legos we made <laughs> sixteen cents. Sweet. It's out of our house. Hey, at least we didn't pay somebody to take it. Yeah, that's true. The baby powder we made fourteen forty, and powder. that is also out of our house. And the Robert Graham shirt we made thirteen thirty one. Alrighty. So a lot of lower dollar sales. That's fine. Uh, let's see what we're doing for the month. Okay. We should be at twenty two hundred. Uh, wait, no, we're at. We're doing nine thousand a month. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Month to date. We should be at thirty three hundred. I know. I was thinking we were doing less. Um, we're not, but we're, we're not. close. We're close. We're not out of the running. Yeah. We sold one hundred and forty four items. Look, we're up forty percent over last month. That's really great. Last month was rough. I don't know why Vendo keeps resetting. <laughs> last month was so rough. Really was, man. Yeah, I think, yeah, last month was hard. But I did, I mean, we looked yesterday, the year to date, and we're still at about, I mean, if you took off the 11 days here, we're at 9,000 profit a month. Mm -hmm. Like, we've actually met our goal, which that's, is that's crazy. insane. That's insane. That's well, because we didn't meet it $1,000 each time, and we've already made $3,000 in the 11 days of April. Mm. You see? So that's an extra $1,000 a month. Right, right, right. So if we can make three extra, th <laughs> if we can make $12,000 yes. this month, then we'll, we'll get, be right oh, on track. Oh, that's all we need to do. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. it's like going to be totally fine. Totally fine. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, everybody. We appreciate you. And we will see you live listing again here later on tonight on the other channel, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Come hang out. Yeah. Bye. Bye.